Hi, Farima. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. Well, thank you. <laughs> uh, thanks for being here to do, to do this. Oh, okay. it's a pleasure. I think I'm it so excited. Be, yeah, it should yeah. be fun, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Very yeah. Fun. Okay, yeah. okay. Um, so, I've, uh, I mentioned, I did a little intro, and I mentioned that we met last year. Mm-hmm. Okay. And our mutual friend, Kathy, yeah. had uh, told me a lot about your dance. Right. And she, Kathy really doesn't build up too much, but she was really building up your dance <laughs> and just talking magnificently about it, right? Just, just incredibly. And then um, this year I had the chance to come and see you uh, perform at the festival. And everything that Kathy said wasn't enough. <laughs> no, really, it blew me away. Thank you. It blew me away because uh, for me when I was watching it, just the symmetry of the dance. I didn't realize it was the patterns that were created. I always, I've seen some Sufi dance uh, before, just you know, just looking at history and stuff. And the twirling, they go around in circles, circle, circle, and it looks incredible. At some point, maybe I'll try it out. I'll try to try oh, it out. Should, I yeah. should try oh, it out. Should. I should be taking lessons from you. Yeah. Um, but the way you did it with the costumes and. Uh, the arm movements because I hadn't seen arm movements before and it was just incredible so um, and then you told me there's mathematics layered on top of this thing or yeah. the code <laughs> behind it whichever way you want to look at mm-hmm. it because who knows if this came first or that came right. first right the chicken or the egg um, so uh, I think uh, I'm interested in this anyway so I think uh, uh, other people will be as well yeah. uh, hopefully anyway I hope so if they're interested in yeah. either twirling or mathematics yeah. and try to combine the two. So, uh, who are you? Like, where, <laughs> why? Did, like, seriously, why did you get into this? Like, I've never, I've never met a, I've never even seen a video of a woman twirling. Every video that I've seen, um, I've never, I've never seen a female yeah. twirl, a woman twirl. No, it's true. It's it's very rare. Okay. Very rare woman whirlers and. Um, what we do, we hope that more women start to whirl okay. because that was whirl, the roots. not twirl. Yeah, whirl. Whirling, oh my whirling, god, I'm even saying it wrong, right? Whirling. But it's okay. It's, it's twirling okay. is the same thing. The same thing. They're, okay, they're okay, both okay. spirals. Spirals. So. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. But we hope that more women can can um, can whirl, and because that was what the ancient people did, women whirlers, and it was a it was a ritual. It was a shamanic ritual. It was done for healing. Whirling goes back to you know many thousands and thousands of years. 12,000 years ago. 12,000 years ago. From, Mes- from Mesopotamian Mes- and Indo Iranian rituals, ancient rituals. Okay. Uh, doing whirling for, for the sun god or goddess Mitra. Mitra, okay. Um, and and was, this, was, this, sorry, was this female and male did it? Or it was, was mainly it, done by females. It was actually. mainly done by females. My, my female, and it was mostly ma- within the female energy. Okay. And because it was considered a pagan ritual, then the male energy coming in with religion, um, then of course it was taken away from the power of the woman, and so it was credit was given to the man by by woman. So man this was, was how long ago? Oh, many years ago. I mean, like I, a there, couple there is, of thousand. Yeah, right. there is there are books written by Aristotle that okay. uh, it actually states in Book Seven of Aristotle, if you read it, that he goes into the he doesn't specifically say Iran, okay. but he says that uh, you know I traveled the East uh, and Mesopotamia and Babylonia, and while doing his research, and he he encountered a tribe of a uh, woman with long hair, okay. wearing white, and he describes it in his Book Seven. Um, and he said that they started to whirl around the big bull, and the bull was a representation of Mitra. The bull was the sacred uh, animal of Mitra okay. for the Mesopotamians and the Iranians. Um, so and we don't know where this was. This was either we don't Iran know or exactly. it's in the east. Yeah, it's in it's the east. In the east. Okay. So we are, many scholars are assuming that it's part of the Mesopotamian or the Indo-Iranian land. Okay. okay. But he describes as that go, traveling to the east and seeing a group of women whirling around the bowl and they, they start to fall into a sort of some kind of a ecstasy. 
trance. Trance. Okay. And they start to scream and they start to toss their hair and as they do it, they, more women start to come in. While turn, they're whirling. While they're whirling. While they're whirling. So this is what we see today in, in the Sufi tradition or in the shamanic rituals where people, as they're whirling, they fall into a state of drunkenness, which we call. There's a Farsi word called mast. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Um, so but it's not really drunk. It's, it's not drunk. It's, it's a trance. Drunk. It's a trance. It's a, it's a trance. drunk of uh, being with the divine. It's okay. letting go of yourself. And so there's a lot of Persian poetry that this says this word mast, mastan, the drunken. I've heard some yes, of it, but yeah. so I just this assumed is the, These are the meant... drunken women. These were the drunken. Oh, okay. Um, I just assume it meant drunk, but no, it doesn't. No, no, no. The uh, word drunk, trance. yeah, it means basically being in trance. That being was trance. The, that's the word. Okay. But also in the Buddhist tradition, you have about you know there are documentations, uh, research done in the Buddhist tradition dating back thousands of years ago, and still that um, contains moving meditation. And the moving meditation was to whirl around an axis. They would start to walk, and as they start to walk this walk became faster and faster and so they started to basically hug themselves and they started to turn. So this this tradition is actually and, and, in the Buddhist tradition as well. And this well. Bu the Buddhist tradition was in uh, in China yeah. or in and, China? In the East. So in the East. Again, that's the, in the other East. thing. We don't so know. We don't know whether, whether Aristotle was talking yeah. about. But well, because at that time there weren't borders no, anyway. There, there was no borders. countries. Exactly. It was just everybody. And, and that yeah. region, that whole Eastern region, yeah. were also influenced by each other. And yeah. so, yeah. you know, it, it all comes from there and okay. so it, it has a very long history it's not something new it has a very long history but unfortunately it's been gone for yeah. so many years because of politics and wars and you know and man and woman and equality and, and, yeah exactly yeah. so it's uh, it's nice to see it coming back that energy is coming back and whirling you know it has it's hugely influenced by science Okay. By math, you told by, uh, yeah, it's it's uh, and uh, it's 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 a great healing. I mean, we use it to cure um, depression. We use it to cure addiction. I I work with cancer patients. Really? Yeah, I have uh, back in you know back in the U.S. I work with some cancer patients. I have I have students who had cancer and they're they're whirling and we use um, you know these. Uh, and we're, we're bringing back, I'm actually doing some shamanic rituals, uh, Indo-Iranian shamanic rituals oh, wow. as a, a healing medicine oh, to, awesome, to, be, awesome. to be able to bring these back. So, but talking about all of these, it's all connected, it's very fascinating how all of these are connected with physics and science and, and math. So Yeah, that's what Yeah, so really it's very exciting for me to work with you because yeah. it's, uh, or tell you about this, because it's, it's all connected, it's all connected with the planets and everything with nature and the elements and so it's and wh what are the planets associated with this What's well the that? sun the, okay, the, the, sun. the moon the venus uh earth so earth. these are all because um, they're all twirl they're yeah, all they're all twirl, they're planets they're circular you know yeah there's a funny thing that we say that if if you're standing in one axis and you're whirling you're a planet but if you start to go around you're a comet Ah, so you know, that's what you say. Yeah, you so say the, we, okay. we try to train people to become planets rather than comets because you know planets don't like comets. They they hit them. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. we train Conflict, people yeah. to become chaotic. Yeah. Well, it's not chaotic. Well, I guess it could yeah. be even comets. But everything have orbits within uh, when you're whirling, then you realize that everything within you is whirling. Everything within the body has spirals. Our DNA is spirals. Yeah, yeah, true. Um, true. And the strands of DNA is connected with the way you whirl. The, the stars is connected. So you have with, you yeah. have a Sufi dance that's connected with the spirals. Oh, absolutely, of the absolutely. We have whirling that we we are c creating the spirals of DNA. We have whirling that is, especially in the ancient Indo-Iranian whirlings, which you are connected with the eight-pointed star, or you are connected. You know the number number three, uh, number seven, eight, and nine. And 99 is very important in the spiritual tradition and also in the Sufi tradition. Yeah, three, three. I know for uh, engineering, yeah. a tripod, like the camera is on a yeah. tripod, three is stable. Right. Uh, so are there are there reasons for this? Three, well, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I mean, there's 99. three, they, uh, and the, for example, the Rumi would always say that there is the three souls, or that in spiritual oh, that tradition, goes, that goes. The, three, the third eye, that the human has 
the spiritual and the, the internal, the outs, outside, but also the sense, which is the third eye. And it goes into the Judeo-Christian exactly. with the Father, Son, Holy Ghost. The Holy and Ghost. So the, the So three, mythology goes back. Very uh, back. Three. Yeah, yeah the three, the number back. three is very special because okay. um, even in, in ancient Iranian tradition, for example, they say that Ahura Mazda, the sun god, was born of... He's the Father, the Light, and the, the Holy Ghost. Oh, really? Okay. So the three is very important. Okay. And this three also within the whirling becomes important. Yeah. Seven is very important because in ancient, um, again, in the Iranian tradition, it was believed that to be one with the divine, we don't know what this divine is, but to be one with the divine, that one must contain the seven sacred elements of the universe oh, okay. and once you are connected with the seven sick elements then you are to that one access point which we point which is so the that's eight. the that's the eight star that's the eight star so the seven builds up to the eight the eight yeah ah, okay so the seven put together connects up to the eight that's like uh, in physics uh, there's in mathematics I guess um, there's a whole concept of string theory mm -hmm. where I think it's ten 10 dimensions that connect up to make the 11th dimension. I haven't read this for a while, so don't quote me on this. But uh, in physics as well, in mathematics, there's a whole concept of M theory mm -hmm. where all the dimensions connect up into one dimension, which makes it 12 dimensions or 11 dimensions. I should have. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know you were going to talk about this. I would have yeah. read up on the theory. Uh, and, the three, yeah. uh, and the three in mathematics, just going back to the three, um, just talking about circle, circular mm -hmm. motion. Uh, trigonometry right. is a shape with three angles, but that's what we learn with trigonometry, uh, you know, from grade eight or whatever you learn about triangles. But triangles directly connects with circles, mm -hmm. where you know you have your triangle uh, trigonometry going into really circular motion, right. cyclic functions, which goes to triangles. So there, it's interesting. We talked a little bit about this right. before, but I stopped you because I said. I really want to, <laughs> would you do this? Yeah. And you said, okay, and I said, okay, don't tell me anymore because I sort of want to learn this yeah. as I go. I want to put it together as a, in, in yeah. one coherent And of course, pattern. the number one, which is oneness, is okay. one of the, the key points in yeah, the yeah. because you are standing in that oneness position and that is your access point. The you center of the, the circle. The center of the circle. So okay. you have to be centered. And as you are centered, then you come out of that which we call in the Sufi tradition, for example, we call it Baal, yeah. or the the word of God, or the the breath of God, who. But as you are in that center position, then that's when you start to go into that circle. You come out slowly, going into that spiral or and sacred spiral, as you could call it, and you come out, and then you are in that big circle. And, and that's so the shell you talked about, you mentioned. Exactly, so uh, it's a you shell you're opening up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's connected to um, the Fibonucci uh, sequence right. and the golden ratio, mm -hmm. um, where I don't know if, if people have followed the uh, mathematics videos uh, with an artist friend of mine. Um, uh, he's an amazing artist. When, when I first saw his art, I just saw mathematics, and that's one thing I saw. Um, with your uh, performance mm -hmm. uh, a couple of days ago, well, two or three days ago, I saw two, both your performances. Um, you mentioned that you guys go into a sort of a hypnotic trance state, masti. Yes. And I can't even imagine what that's like when you're doing it, but for me, when I was watching you dance, when you had the costume set up and your the circular mm -hmm. pattern that was making, I just, it hypnotized me. I was watching this thing, this pattern, mathematical pattern, occur and that's one thing uh, with my friend that's uh, uh, that creates art his his art is very grid oriented mm -hmm. he's got two different types of arts one is chaos and the other one is uh, grid oriented mm -hmm. and he um, when we started he agreed to do some math videos as well and we started doing some math videos and then throughout the process I learned that he's embedding uh, the golden ratio mm -hmm. in his in his drawings and we put a couple of videos together where we created the golden uh, golden rectangle. Uh, and I saw that. Yeah, video. I showed yeah, it to you. And, uh, and he creates it from the outside in, and I create it from the inside mm -hmm. out with the uh, Fibonacci sequence. And he does it by measurements and using the golden ratio. And you guys do it through dance. Yeah. You create the golden ratio through dance. Yeah, exactly. And you spiral out 
spiral mm-hmm. out, spiral out. And you make that big circle. You yeah. make that, and then you. St- so in the uh, we, right now the tradition is that you know you go to the left, you're coming out and you're going to the left, but also it's also because that's a male energy. Now in the oh. ancient uh, and the Iranian tradition. They would also go and go back and to the right because and the, the right is a female energy. The, the right is a female energy. Oh, so it is this connects our yeah. inter- this connects to shamanism a lot. Exactly, yeah. Because that's planets, I know that's in the there. male and the female planets. You know, you have the male and the female planets. Wow. So the energies of the womb. So it, uh, now it both are accepted. You know, we say clockwise and counterclockwise. Okay. So you can go, but that is the tradition of the sacred spire is that you go out and then you come back in and then you come back in yeah so that you, was you start from the center you spiral your way out creating the golden golden rectangle yeah. and it the, used to be that you would go back inside and then you go so you create both the male and the female yeah and or that the was male the, and yeah. the female the right as a female yeah. okay okay um the other important thing is uh, also the body and maybe you noticed when I was dancing, I was bringing my hands up and, and yeah, going Yeah, that up. was insane. So like, that was, <laughs> no, really, that was like, yeah. and it, there was a huge pattern. I couldn't yeah. figure out the pattern for sure. So there's a couple of reasons for that. Um, one is that, well, basically we are tr- creating the tree of life. And there is a root, so when we are, on, we are pointed on the axis, yeah. it is believed that part of us is the roots. And so, so you're grounded. You are grounded. So it so goes into martial the, arts yeah. as well. Too. Yeah, so we are grounded part. and as we are turning, if you you know, we are start to create that spiral yeah. and then the skirt gets higher and higher and higher and higher and the skirt starts to create that wave. Yeah. And that is the wave of the D- DNA. So we are actually doing the DNA oh. and the DNA is known to be the tree of life. Because then the hands come out. These are the root you know, these are the um, branches of the tree of life. My hands are creating <laughs> this. Uh, so okay, okay. we are making that and the the spiral within the DNA is known to be the tree of life because that is what we are built on upon the uh, human race. Um, the other oh, sorry, sorry, go ahead. No, 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 well go the ahead. other reason also it's because with my hands I'm also manifesting the seven sacred elements. So I am creating water waves. I am creating fires. I am creating. Oh, so winds. all the hand symbols you were doing represent it's, have represents meaning. Elements, yeah. And because you're, you know, yeah. it was beautiful. It was very wavy. Everything you did had waves associated. When you when you were doing your arms, yes. like you could see the waves was starting from the tip yes. of your, tip of your fingers, coming all the way. It, it was beautiful, yeah. basically, um, in and mathematics. That's also, do, yeah, right? and the the wave of, of ma- I don't know. In, in trigonometry, yeah, in trigonometry. trigonometry, it connected to the circle. Yeah. And once you take the circle, you... And, which you is know, a storm, which we are creating a storm. We are creating a huge wave, a, a wind wheel, or a whirlwind, what you call it. We are creating a storm. So it's referred to a storm, creating yeah. a storm. So, and that's actually the word... Um, the word uh, Sufi Ha, Sufi Ha is actually mean, it's a meaning of a storm, you're creating a storm and you become this wind. With so it. Sufi means storm? Sufi, Sufi Ha. Sufi Ha is the word meaning. It, so Sufism is derived from Sufi Ha. Sufi Ha, but it, it goes, goes back, the word Sufi has many meanings. But it has many meanings. It has many meanings, but oh. um, it, it comes from a, a you know, there, it actually comes from a Sufiet uh, dynasty of Iran. The, the word Sufi is not, it's a fairly, during the Renaissance of Iran, it's not an ancient word. Oh, it's not an ancient No, word. it's not an ancient oh, okay. word, but they were called many other things before, you know, whirling. So Sufi is, comes from an order of a dynasty, the word Sufi. Okay. But Sufi Ha is basically a storm, meaning you're, you're creating a storm. Okay, okay. Um, Sama, which is, what we do is basically it's a Farsi word meaning to listen to your heart. It's to listen. Sama. Sama. So it's a, it's a melody, the melody of the heart. The word sama means melody of the heart. So how how is that related to uh, wor- uh, whirling? 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 Sama, whirling? Whirling. whirling. How is that? Sama means melody of the heart. So it used to be that you had to listen to your heart as you start to whirl. That is the moment when you start to communicate with the heart, with the soul. So what, when you're whirling, you're trying to get to a state where you're listening to your heart. Exactly. Or are you starting off that way? No, you're go, you have to go into a state where you are no longer human, you are now the soul. Oh, okay. And that's when you connect with the heart. Oh, so you, there's a focal point, you're trying to focus exactly. on something. Exactly. Okay, I know with yeah. Tai Chi there is, uh, 
certain stance, certain, mm -hmm. I've, I've done very little. I have a friend that yeah. does a lot of Tai Chi and there's a stance that, you know, a lot of meditative stances that they do and try to focus either on a specific point, on a specific mm -hmm. object or specific mm -hmm. thought or whatever it is, right? The uh, other important thing about um, also whirling, especially in the, um, the Turkish whirling and you know and the Iranian whirling and Turkish whirlings are a bit different because okay. the, the Iranian whirlers they're using their hands a lot where in the Turkish whirling they're very stable and they only have their right hand up. And oh it's like this. Yeah. And oh, that's, that's also very that important because the point of the hand the right hand I which I know have heard is that it's very important in physics the right hand is very important because it, it describes the fall and the down, the fall and the up. Oh, of the, the magnetic field. Yeah, the, magnetic the magnetic field. Oh, yeah, so for sure. Right the right hand is very important yeah, 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 because yeah, yeah, yeah. when we are whirling, we have most of the time is the right hand pointing up or the right palm is out. Yeah, there's um, a palm. So thing. This, is, this is the magnetic field which is receiving the energy and then giving away the energy. So, so giving the, away from the left hand? So you're, you're the receiving hand. the energy and then you're giving it from the left hand. But the right is very important. This becomes your important part of the body. And this is in physics, I know it's... Yeah, there's a right hand. There's, there's two right, rules. There's a rule the, of the right hand. Yeah, yeah, there's one where if the current is going along your thumb, right. Your thumb points this way, and the magnetic field, any moving charge creates magnetic field, exactly. and the magnetic field is spiral this way, which is cool. Right. And there's another one where if the magnetic field is going this way, I haven't done the physics stuff for a while, mm -hmm. so don't And you also are part. creating the waterfall of that. And in Iranian whirling tradition, we often move our hands like this. And when you do that, or when you're bowing, you're creating this waterfall. And so the energy comes in, and then the water comes up back to the body and it goes back into the root. So this is how the tree of life is growing. You're creating that water going back to your body and coming back. And you're twirling at the same and time. Twirling. So you're so creating a torah. Is it, is it called a torus? Uh, so you're going like this and it's going along yeah, the central point. Yeah, we need point. water in our human because, in, again, in Anglo-Iranian, water was essential. Flow, flow. We had needed water. So the water is, gives life to the tree of life. And so the tree of life starts to grow. And as the tree of life starts to grow, you start to whirl, and you become one with the planet, you become one with the universe. And that is your focal point of becoming one with the unknown. So you're constantly bowing or moving in a sense that the flow is going towards the center, which you're feeding the roots for the tree of life. Yes, so the roots, oh. and, and so this whole thing, it, it literally creates the DNA. So you become one with your DNA. You become one with the spiral of life, which we call. You have to have that. You need to be connected with your spirals of life. And every human, we believe, that is, is connected with their spirals of life or with their DNA. You just have to find it. And that's when you start to whirl because then now you're connected. Which So that's how you started off. Yeah. That's where you're going to focus the energy. Yeah. That's why you're constantly going around the circle, creating a storm to feed the root. Yeah. And, but that's just one world. example of where, and we again, we yeah. have so many different styles. We have whirlings where we come in and go out. We create the sacred geometries of, of the universe. You know, we have we have whirlings where we create the eight pointed star. We have and you, you know, we went sorry we went to, we, we we took a tangent, which is okay, but we went uh, three seven eight right. So three is three is okay. magic number everywhere, right? Uh, stable right. religion. Seven Sufism. also, it's very sacred seven, in, in the world. Seven, eight. So Nine. seven, s seven points led to eight, the pointing star to the top. How does a nine come to play? So nine is a very interesting story behind it. Um, there are some research actually. If, if you you can uh, do some research, the number nine is a mysterious number because they say that it was created by a shamanic ritual number, because. We didn't have nine, and they, there's many research done of how this nine, which is, if you turn the nine, it used to be written like this. And again, if you look at it, it creates that sacred spiral. Oh, okay, okay. So the nine means basically that spiral of, of life. So if you look at it, and it creates that um, that shape yeah, is yeah. the spiral of life. So and that would be more related to more recent yeah, thought. It's, yeah, it's a more recent, recent thought. Even though it's ancient, that's the recent researchers have been doing. And also the word nine is very universal. We got no in Farsi, no, nine yeah, in right. yeah, English, yeah, yeah. nine in, in, well, I, I think really in Danish. There, but the word nine is very universal okay. because it's a, it's a new discovery that they realized that 
not new, but it is it's a number embedded, of, somewhere. embedded somewhere that they brought in these sacred numbers together and they created, they realized, oh, the human body, soul, is the nine. So there's a special dance with a nine. Uh, there is really not a particular special dance within the nine. It's believed that what anything that you do, it is that nine. Okay. And within the Sufi tradition or even in the Islamic tradition, um, the number nine becomes very important because they say, you know, nine days of whirling and or 99 days of of uh, passing the soul. So, so there's su such so a thing called nine days of whirling? Yeah. Like I people mean, specifically go out to do nine days of whirling? Yes, yes, they do. Wow. So they, uh, but the number nine it becomes very important. So there are some sacred numbers within the uh, spiritual text. Yeah. I know there is an uh, Avesta, which is a Zaratoshian holy book, um, in the Bible I've read it, you know, mm -hmm. number seven, for example, in the Quran, and the um, yeah, Torah. So they all have that sacred the, number, but yeah. then they, they, there's also that number nine, which nine becomes, it's not part of the, the religious text, it becomes part of the spiritual text. Number nine is part of the spiritual text. So it's, a, it's all connected with... Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. So um, that's a lot of info. Yeah. That's a lot of yeah. info. Uh, it's really interesting. The just the way it's connecting and just you doing the dance with the. I I noticed that when you were dancing, um, when you had the costume on, we had a, you had a few different costumes yeah. on, but one of them you had on was a costume with the there were lights at the end of the yeah. skirt, <laughs> and when you started twirling, as soon as you started twirling. Um, <laughs> <laughs> loves you. As soon as you started twirling, uh, the lights of at the end of the skirt started creating a sine wave that was going in a circular pattern. Uh, yeah. And I didn't really, I noticed it, but it didn't really register until you said it creates a wave. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah. that's embedded within the circle. That's yeah. incredible. Yeah. That's super I, uh, cool. I, I tried to, you know, was within my whirling to really show the connection between the sacred geometry and to really show that, you know, science has a lot to do with this, yeah, or, yeah. or math has a lot to do with this, because we are all within this universal, you know, life. Yeah, there's and a code. So there's a code. There, there is there is yeah. a reason why we have we are connected with the universe, and so everything is within our body. Like I said, it's spirals. Yeah, and it's yeah. all sacred geometry, yeah. and when we, there's a way we have to show it outside, and the way we show it outside is by showing it through whirling or through dancing. Yeah. And when so I teach uh, regular dance, it's all connected yeah. with the science and, and, and the just the numbers. Just human evolution. I mean, when you mention you take, you take the energy from the right and you release it through the left, in Tai Chi, in the stance, mm -hmm. there's one stance you do where you're, you're standing up, your, your knees are a little bent, it's, mm -hmm. it's, yeah. it's like that. And you are taking the energy, you're creating a spiral yeah. within your circle, which yeah. is super cool. Yeah. Um, I'd love to see some of these. I saw, <laughs> I, saw, I saw two of your performances, which was incredible. Um, but I think what we're going to do, um, Farima has agreed to, we'll go, we're going to go into the dance studio and um, she's going to show us some of these dance, uh, these patterns. And what we're going to try to do is uh, shoot the video and see the pattern. I, hopefully we can get uh, from the side for sure. You can see the pattern happening from the side. But there's um, one angle we're going to try to shoot is from the top to see if we can capture the spiral um, and see where we go from there. Uh, would that be cool? We go, course, yeah, yeah, yeah. We we'll go and check it out. Yeah, it's and, a fascinating and see what we can field do. and fascinating yeah. discovery and to be connected with whirling the numbers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then um, we'll see. We'll see what we can do is uh, uh, to sort of see how the mathematics is laid on that. I don't know. I, I'm not sure. i got to do some research <laughs> to figure out. Uh, I'm not... My thing is not geometry. Uh, even though I, I know it, I, I like numbers and pattern recognition. And there's a lot of pattern in your thing, but uh, there's a lot of geometry that... Uh, uh, from what you've, what you've done and what I saw. Um, and we'll try to look into that and uh, see where the mathematics uh, connects up. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. Awesome. All Thanks right. a lot. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> see you guys in the next video. One thing I forgot to ask you during the when we were talking was uh, you mentioned that some people whirl for hours. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's there is a saying that we only whirl for seven to two hours.
Yeah. Wow, really? So, so, yeah, people, you can whirl for 24 hours, and you, once you're into that state of ecstasy, you're in sleep mode. Yeah. So, um, it could be dangerous, because you can fall into that sleep mode, and so someone has to wake you up, but you have to also train your brain to wake up. Because once you go into that sleep mode, then you can go on and on yeah. and on. Yeah. So there, are, yeah, people do work for hours and wow. hours and hours. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. That's cool. I mean, four or five hours is nothing. Four or five hours is nothing. No. People will work for, like I said, like 12 hours, 24 hours. Wow. Yeah. Wow, incredible. Yeah. incredible. What's the longest you've done? The longest I've done is four and a half hours. Four and a half hours yeah. of work? Yeah, four and a half hours. Wow, wow. Yeah. Um, straight. I mean, I have done where like I would take a break for ten minutes, come back, or wait for you know five minutes, and I I went on for like almost twelve hours. Yeah. But straight without stopping, four and a half hours. Four and a half hours yeah. of work. Wow. Yeah. What was it, what was it like when you came out of that? It's 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 very different. I mean, sometimes you cry because like emotional. You know, yeah, release. you're very emotional when you come out of it. Sometimes you're very happy. It really depends on what. You see, because you start to see images, you start to hear things, everything just becomes, you're completely in a, you know, it's, I can't explain it. Yeah, it's a trance. Yeah, yeah, it's, a, yeah. You've, you've it's like being high, and you come out of being yeah. high, and like, okay, I'm in this reality, and I don't like it. Yeah, yeah. So, you're, bore, you're bearing your soul. You All your guards yeah, are down. Yeah. All your walls yeah. are down. It's, yeah. um... I mean, in the Sufi tradition, they do say it's like death, you're dead, and then you have to come back. And sometimes dead people don't like to come back. Yeah, you know, sometimes. they don't like to come back. They yeah. like what they see there. So yeah. um, it's, it's, a, it's a state of, state of being. being. So sometimes I get very emotional and I just cry. Yeah. Or sometimes people have said that I was screaming while I was whirling. Um, some people said that I been laughing when I was running and I don't understand I don't know any of this you don't remember no I don't remember any of this but um, there are videos of me that I'm clapping and dancing while I'm whirling and I don't remember any of it wow um, there's I mean like I said I, people said you were screaming and saying na names and I don't remember any so you're in a sleep mode in a trance yeah. in a trance yeah. that's cool that's where the shamanistic aspect of yeah. it comes from yeah. Yeah. and spiritual all spiritual mythology yeah. and Contemporary religions, I yeah. guess. Okay, cool. um, I forgot to tell you about the head, but we can do that later. And then the, the line of the head connected with the heart and going. Oh, wow. oh yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've seen, that's some of the yeah. ones I've seen. Right? Yeah. Yeah. The head is, is one of the most important part of the body that actually makes you go into trance.